All right, this week we've got minis, new trades, new comics, and it's a big week. Uh, let's start it off with a mini. I love opening these. I know everybody else does too. There's all different kinds. And this one is the horror mini, the classics volume two with a lot of really good characters. There's an Alfred Hitchcock in here. There's a Cthulhu, uh, Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice. I don't know if Beetlejuice is actually horror. I don't know if I qualify it as that. Um, but, oh, I got the rare one. Alfred Hitchcock with a bird. That I believe is one in 72. The rarest one that will not be going up. Uh, Ronnie, go grab me another one while I talk about books. Uh, that one's for me. So, uh, let's do trades. Deadpool is out this week. You guys are all really excited, obviously. Uh, the movie with Ryan Reynolds, they've been marketing this thing like crazy. Check out uh, Good Day Sacramento on Saturday morning. I'll have more info uh, to come. Uh, we're going to be doing a spot over there with them talking about Deadpool and all the goodness there. I'm going with my really good buddy, Jake Fatal. He's excited. You can look him up on Instagram and talk to him about it. Uh, he wants to do nothing more than talk about Deadpool. Um, what day? What's up? Where are you going? Uh, when am I going? Thursday. No, oh no, I'm not. There's no special event. This week is absolutely packed. I'm going to try and fit it in before the weekend uh, is over. But I'm going to be on Good Day just talking about the book, so I don't have to see the movie. Roller Girl, this thing looks adorable. Great little trade about a young girl joining the roller derby and her experience with it. Uh, it's gotten all kinds of great reviews. And uh, Amy says it's so good. Oh, you read it, Amy. Well, it. Roller Derby starting here on the 20th, I believe, of February. As always, we are a sponsor. You can buy tickets here. They're going to rope off a section for us so we can all sit together. Um, so come down, join us. We always get a really, really good crowd uh, down there. And we'd love to have you be there with us. All right, into the comic books. I've been talking too much. I'm going to have to blow through these. Batman Eternal, it's almost over. Just uh, another month and a half, I think, uh, of this. Uh, still dealing with Mother. TMNT. And there's a team-up with Shredder and someone mysterious at the end. I don't want to ruin that for you. Batman, it's a guest artist on this one. Capullo is, I believe, sticking around until about 51 or so. Uh, he's working on 4950 right now so that we can make sure we get a really good ending. Harley's team-up book. This time she's with Green Lantern. Little Black Book number two. Comes out every two months, I believe. Green Lantern Corps, uh, finally a Green Lantern uh, core book again. They're back in the regular universe, and it's it, the first one was really good. New Avengers, Wiccan has been infected with a, I don't even know how to say it, what is it, Demerge? Uh, you guys can correct me. And uh, the team from the future has come back in time uh, to take care of the problem before it, come, it becomes a problem. New Avengers has been a great title. In fact, it's probably my favorite out of the Avengers. All new Wolverine? No, all new X-Men. Uh, but all new Wolverine right over here. Battle Guardian. Cat says hi, Ben. Who said? Oh, hey, Battle Cat. Uh, what's it's been going a while. on? What's that? It's been a while. Uh, it took him a while to jump on too. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Next time you see us pop up on Periscope, just jump on right away, Battle Cat. All right, we need the numbers. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers. Up. Oh, she's getting kicked off the team. <gasps> Not good. Her own book is out this week too. Old Man Logan. Written by Jeff Lemire. He also writes Extraordinary X-Men, which Old Man Logan is on. This one is a lot of flashbacks or flash forwards, I guess, to the future, which is his past, as he's here in the modern day taking care of bad guys and good guys who he thinks might help stop the future he's from. Deadpool, 25th anniversary, guys. Um, thank you, Rob Liefeld, for creating such a memorable character. Uh, but more thanks to Ryan Reynolds uh, because it's going to be awesome. Tooth and Claw, no longer called that. It's Autumn Lands. James Bond, I've been enjoying this. This is more like a classic James Bond story. Wheels are turning, it's moving, it's building, but not a lot of action uh, right off the bat. Descender, look at that cover. My God, is that amazing. I love that book. Got some Street Fighter. This is issue number three, if you guys, uh, guys have missed it. The 16th, I believe that's next Tuesday, Street Fighter Six comes out. I will definitely be getting it. And uh, we'll have to plan something here in the store uh, for Savings Club members to come down and get some games and... Abe Sapien. Badger Returns. It's been a long time. I know of two people who are excited for this. Three, because I imagine the gentleman who created it is excited too. <laughs> I read it. It wasn't bad. It was it was interesting. He's uh, He's got multiple personality disorder. He uh, was in the military, uh, discharged. He loves animals. And his spirit animal is, of course, the badger. You guys need your FF fix right here. Ultimates, th uh, this is number four. Ultimates is the FF now. T'Challa, uh, Captain Marvel, they, they are doing all the things that the FF would be doing if they had not been disbanded because of the movies. Black Science was also a hardcover out for this. A really waiting. Oh, we were supposed to save that for the top three. Anyways, Ultimates is one of my top three. Black Science is one of my top three. We're still dealing... Um, with uh, 
uh, what's his guy? Grant, thank you, I almost said Gary, still, de still dealing with uh, Grant as he's trying to find the members, track them down, uh, some important things happen in here that's going to lead him closer to finding his kids and the other members of the expedition, and of course, the number one this week, you, you could have guessed it, low with two amazing covers. It was really hard to choose, but I wanted to show them both to you. That's the one I ultimately went with. We're dealing with the two sisters. They're trying to find their mother. She's going to the surface. They need the resources to get there. Beautiful as always. Great story. Remender uh, got two of my top three this week. So thank you guys. Don't forget, we have our graphic novel discussion this Thursday from 6.30 to 8. It's always the second Thursday of the month. This time it's Alex and Ada Volume 1. Next time it is Low, followed by Wicked and Divine Volume 2. Our last Tuesday of the month is a live model for all of you artists. And we've also got the last Friday of the month, a comedy night, after hours, 8 p.m., great stuff. Not for the kids, uh, but it's a lot of fun. We hope to see you guys all there. Don't forget, free comic book day. Mark your calendar. It's the first Saturday in May, Creative Women Mini Con. If you go to our Facebook, we've already got the date up there. More info to come on that, too. And uh, we will see you guys in the shop. Oh, we were going to open one more. Hold on, hold on. We got this guy. Oh, took me a second. Lost Boys. There we go. Classic. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the shop.